everybody, it's DJ B. I'm just here to talk about something that I actually already have talked about last year, but I'm going to talk about it again because it is still equally as important. So if you don't already know, there's a huge event that happens over Facebook and that is happening in February of 2021. It's been happening every year for the last three or four years or so, but February is just around the corner and that event is called Name Pemo, National Model Painting Month. And so this is an event that is hosted by Jennifer Bray Buxton and if you don't know who she is, she runs one of the most successful model horse blogs online, specifically directed towards tack making. She also posts a lot of really awesome tutorials on how to paint, how to do different things by other famous artists. It's a really great blog, so if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. She was gracious enough to start this event a couple years back, and essentially it's an encouraging event, and you have the duration of February to paint one model horse. You have to register before February 1st. I think the deadline in that sense is January 31st. There is a Facebook group that you can join. I will link that in the description below. It has all the rules and regulations, but you do have to sign up, which includes giving away your personal information, uploading a picture of you and your model, uploading a picture of the reference and the goal you're setting for yourself. You have an optional $2 fee to pay. Now I highly recommend paying the $2 because it helps Jennifer out immensely with hosting this event on her own volunteered time, but also it holds you accountable to finishing your model. Once registration is complete, you are locked in and that is the color that you have to paint the model or you don't finish your model essentially. So there's no obligation to finish, obviously it is just a, an event to encourage painting, encourage learning, and encourage growing. It is a really awesome resource though because tons of really famous high-end artists participate in this event every year. That means that you can post progress pictures, you can post updates, questions, concerns, and there is a ton of people willing to offer advice and different products, techniques, tutorials to help you further your painting journey. Definitely consider, you know, what you can handle. Don't pick something too crazy if you don't think you can finish it within the month. If you do finish though, you upload one photo to the I Did It album and then within those entries Jennifer goes through and she sends out really great prizes. This year, however, because of the global pandemic, she has decided to scale things down because going to the post office is no fun right now for anyone. She is going to be using purely prizes that can be shipped flat, so either in an envelope or a bubble mailer. And she has graciously asked me this year, which I am so excited about, to design three exclusive Name Pemo stickers. So if you enter this year and you complete your horse and you are selected as one of the most improved or you've made an admirable piece or you've really tried and you've made progress, then you have the opportunity to win one of these stickers. So I'm really excited about that because I think they turned out super cute. They're not available to purchase, so you have to paint to win. It's, it's not necessarily for the prizes, the prizes are just a bonus. Every year Kylie Parks sculpts a prize medallion as well. So definitely check out the page, all of the extra rules and information is available there, but I definitely recommend you guys come out and join this year because 2021 I have designed the prizes, which I am so excited about. This year I will be participating and I'm painting this guy. Last year I joined and painted Devanna, which a lot of you guys know, and Devanna actually turned out to be one of my best paint jobs. So last year I was focusing on doing a solid color, but really well. This year I've had a lot of debate on what I should do, but I decided to do a drastic, so I've been working on it since the beginning of January. So I haven't done that before as one of my challenges, and I'm going to be painting him to a bay blanket Appaloosa, or like a large blanket Appaloosa. And I know I'm really good at painting Appaloosas and I'm really experienced, but genuinely I don't paint a lot of colored Appaloosas. I paint black and white leopards all the time, and those are really easy. So you have to pick kind of your weakness or something you want to grow on, get better on. I definitely hope to see you guys there. I want to see you guys winning some of those really awesome stickers. All of the links will be in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. This has been DJB.